What's going on everybody? Welcome to Little Helpful Files. My name is Lindsay and we do cash budgeting, mini savings, a little bit of life in general, all through the glory and by the grace of God. And if you guys are just tuning in for the first time, please make sure to leave me a comment below. I'd love to say hey and make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if this is something that you're interested in seeing more content on. So today we're going to be doing a mini savings challenge stuffing and I do have a few things that I want to show and go over with you. Plus, um, I have a little giveaway I'm going to be doing, so make sure that you stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. So for the week, we're doing our $100, and we're going to go ahead and get this set up, but then I am going to show you a few other things. All right, so we've got our 100 I didn't get a lot of change this week. I'm not going to be stuffing all of my um, things, all of my savings challenges, but I am going to go ahead and start with this one, so that way we can kind of kick this off and we'll go ahead and do a 20 in here and we'll find one of the envelopes that is just a pattern one because that's what the 20 is going to go into so we'll use this one and we'll put this in here and then we're going to switch gears i want to show you guys something that i got so my well first off let me show you this hold on so first and foremost, I had told you guys I was updating my variable binder. So I did get these on Amazon. I ended up deciding to get a calculator because that other one was really, really hard for me to see when I was doing the videos. So this one is nice and big and these buttons are way easier to push. Um, so we're going to be using this. And then this is my updated variable envelope binder. So I needed a change. I was kind of tired of dealing with that cord that wrapped around the other one. I just wanted something a little bit easier. So these envelopes all come from um, Designs by Kuntz. And if you guys wanna check her out, I know that she has her own website and I also follow her on Inst Instagram. But these envelopes have hold, held up so good. So I really recommend that. But um, you can get either of these in the Amazon storefront. Link is in my description. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, the second thing I'm really excited about. Okay, so let me try to get myself a little bit of organization here. So my midwife gave me a sample of this tea. So these teas are called pregnant tea and they're actually really delicious. Um, my daughter has had this super Nora one with me and it's really good. But these are the half cup sizes. So I am actually gonna be giving away, they sent me these awesome sample sizes. So just so you guys can kind of get a feel for it. So I'm gonna be giving away four of these. I have four to give away and they're each gonna come with this. I will print this out and cut it and put it in the envelope with it. So basically the first four people to send me an email, I'll put my email here or up here. <laughs> Um, the first four people to send me an email, let me know, you know, who you're planning to give this to or why, um, and then include the address that needs to be sent. Now, if you are having this just sent to somebody as a gift, please let me know and include that. Um, otherwise, you know, if I'm addressing it to you and you want to give it, I thought that this would be something cute if you have a baby shower coming up or somebody that you know that's expecting. I thought it would be a cute item to put in, or maybe you yourself are. And again, you don't have to be pregnant to eat it <laughs> or to drink it. It's actually really good. Um, this one is the Hazel Morning Mate, and I have not tried it yet, but it sounds amazing because I love coffee, and I am excited to try that. This is supposed to be more of like a postpartum, but I wanted to share this with you guys because this is a small company, and this couple would do like midwife and doula work, but they're their message was so cute. It says, thank you for supporting our small business. We've included a few single serve samples to share with friends. We pray this tea is a blessing upon you. I just absolutely love that. So I thought that this would be such a cool opportunity to let you guys, like I said, try a few. So I have four here and I will send that out to the first four people that send me an email. All right. So switching gears, we are working on our books of the Bible savings challenge, and I'm actually completing three. So we're going to fill in 2 Corinthians, Galatians, and Ephesians. And if I calculated it correctly, let me get my sheet out. So 
2 Corinthians would be worth 22 because you take the amount and multiply it by 2. Galatians is 9 and Ephesians is 9. So we're going to be putting $40 in here. And I have decided like I really need to try to finish this one up quicker because um, I'm going to need this money, the funds that are in it. So we're not going to be taking it one book by one book. I would love to be able to continue doing that. But once this is done, I mean, I plan on starting it over again. I've really enjoyed this one. I hope that you guys have been enjoying it too. So we'll go ahead and take our 40. And then I am going to read from Ephesians. That's the one that we're kind of ending on there. So we'll read from that. And let's go ahead and count up what we're at. So 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 4, 1, 2, 3, so 404. Awesome. All right. Now, let's go ahead and switch gears. Like I said, I want to read real quick. I decided to go to Ephesians. This is going to be 118. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you will know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us who believe. These are in accordance with the working of the strength of his might, which he brought about in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. For above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things in subjection under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. And then it goes into made alive in Christ. And so this prayer here that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened was something that, you know, it just jumped out at me and this is what I pray for each and every one that is listening, each and every one that comes together in this. I pray that we can continue to be enlightened, we can continue to rest in his hope and focus on his glory and just be able to continue to see his goodness working. And look at what this Bible verse says, right? So this is Psalm 23, 6, which I love Psalm 23. But surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And there's been a consistent theme lately with people being in a hard season. And I'm sorry, I sound like I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm starting to get to that like uncomfortable part oh, in pregnancy. And um, I'm not probably seated in the most comfortable position right now. But anyway, we want to continue to seek and ask to see the goodness of the Lord no matter what we're going through. So that is my prayer. That's my hope. And I just love you guys so much. I thank you all for this community. And I hope that it continues to encourage you through whatever season you may be walking through right now. I'm excited to share this with you. So this is something I was kind of inspired by the Lady Die Saves envelope, which I accidentally printed out small because I printed it from my phone. But I started to think about this idea for this tiny envelope and it does have savings challenges with it. Okay, so this is going to be in the Etsy shop. It says spread love and then it has the Bible verse 1 John 4 19. We love because he first loved us. Now, this is going to be a digital download. You can make these at home. It'll have the envelope and then where you're gonna cut out and then tape. I use double-sided tape. It holds together really nice. And then you're going to get these savings challenges. So you can do a dollar for each heart or roll and it's going to have a Bible verse at the bottom of each of these. So $2 for each dove or roll the dice. Again, Bible verse at the bottom to coordinate. $10 for each flower or roll a dice and the Bible verse, and then $5 for each heart or roll a dice and Bible verse at the bottom. So each one of these does have a different Bible verse on it, but my thought with this was that this is actually the piece you're going to be gifting to somebody. So in spreading the love, let's say you're saving up and you end up saving 15 for this. You could either choose to print and give them one to fill out on their own, or you could just put the $15 in, and then this is going to be like a little kind of gift card envelope that you'll give to them. It will have my, um, it will have little helpful files on it, my name on it, so that way in case they want to check out the shop or see it, they'll know where it came from. 
but I just really thought of this idea and thought it would be really cute to kind of pass on the love so we can save these things up. And so you know, the price in Etsy is going to cover you being able to print it for one for yourself and one to give away. So I do ask that if you want to be able to print this multiple times that you purchase multiple and you can even reach out to me like, let's say you want to be able to give away, you know, five of these, I can do a little bundle discount for you, but you just have to let me know. Um, because normally this is supposed to be personal use only, but I want to kind of encourage and start this because I just think this would be so cute to save up for somebody that you have in mind, or maybe you save up and you don't even know who the Holy Spirit's going to be leading you to give this to, right? Like this could be something you just kind of keep in your wallet with you. And when the time presents itself and you feel led and convicted to give it to somebody, you have that in there with the money already in and you pass on and spread that love. We all could use more love, right? Love is the key and is what the Lord has called us to do, to love him and to love others. And so I just thought this was a really fun, awesome way. Now, obviously you can still use this for yourself too. There's multiple challenges here and I did that for a reason. Because like I said, you can print the page out for you to have an envelope and then print one that you will be giving away. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I'm going to keep that in here and let's go ahead and move on. I only have $40 left to save. So we're going to go ahead and do 20 in, oh wait, that's not, oh my gosh, I just hit that. That's not the right uh, marker. So we're going to do 20 in here. So we're going to fill up this first row with the love. And I mean, again, I know that like Valentine's Day just happened and all. I don't really focus as much on Valentine's Day as like, this should just be something we're doing all year round, right? To love and give to others and just focus more on stewarding the things that God gave us. And it really does help with our hearts of gratitude when we think about caring for other people and giving towards other people. So, plus I just think it's so cool, right? To like unexpectedly surprise somebody or bless somebody with something. Um, it's kind of a priceless moment when they're just so taken aback by, you know, your generosity um, and wanting to be kind in that way. So now we're going to finish this up. Let's see. I have $20 left. Okay. I think I'm only going to do the 10 on here for Oma Crafts and Budgets. And then I'm going to do a scratch off with the other 10 that I have left. And again, these were ones that I printed and I just laminated them from her shop. So let's see, we are going to do, where is, nope, that's not the one I want. I want this one. And this is give thanks to the Lord for he is good. He's always good. One of seven, one, you know, and that's the thing. He's good. Even when we don't know how or why he is working things out like he's using these trials he's using these moments for something purposeful for his will and for our good even if we can't see that in the moment right so that's something to remind ourselves of and focus on instead of focusing on the bad or the negative all right guys so that is going to wrap up this mini savings challenge today and again I hope that you guys, whatever you're going through, whatever season you're walking through, are continuing to look to the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, and just focus on his goodness. Continue to ask him, ask him to see his goodness prevail no matter what. All right, I will look forward to seeing you guys in a video soon. I thank you so much for this community, for being here, and for all your support and love, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend into the next week, and may God continue to bless you.